Hello and welcome to this tutorial for the board game Rocket Men. This is a deck builder, which means you start the game with a few cards, but along the way you'll be getting bigger and stronger cards, and you'll use those to reach some goals. Here's how you play the game. You are going to keep playing until a player does something that triggers one of the three conditions that end the game. Then there is a bonus scoring, and whoever has the most points wins the game. These are the things that end the game. 1. Every player has six of these tokens. As soon as one player has placed all six on the board, you finish the round and end the game. 2. If every player has at least one of these tokens on Earth, here, on the Moon, here, and on Mars, here, then you also finish the round and end the game. And 3. This one is easy. If one player scores points during the game and lands on one of these spaces, or passes it, the round is also finished and the game ends. So again, the game will be over when one player has placed all six tokens, or all players have a token on all three destinations on the board, or one player scores enough to have reached the space on the scoring track. Then it's possible for players to get some bonus points. If you have the highest score, you are the winner. Now, how do you play the game? What do you do when it's your turn? You can always look at this sheet for help. You can keep it with you for the whole game. On one side it says what you can do during your turn. When it's your turn, you can keep going for as long as you like. Before you start, make sure you have six cards in your hand. You should always have at least six cards to work with during your turn. And then you have three actions you can do. And remember, you can do them as much as you like. 1. Discard cards from your hand. If you happen to hold any cards you're not interested in using this turn or the next turn, just place them open on the table on the right side of your own player board. You can discard one card, or three cards, or all six cards. It's up to you. 2. You can get new cards to add to your collection. You can get them from this area, here. These are the rockets you can buy, and these are the other cards you can choose. The price for each card is listed on the bottom, here. And you pay for them with your own cards. It shows how much money they are worth in the top left corner here. When you use your own cards to buy new cards, you place them on the right side of your player board. If you want, you could place down $60 and buy two cards that cost $30 a piece. Either way, as soon as you've paid the money, you take the card or cards that you paid for and put them with the rest of your discarded cards here on the right side. If you look at the cards you can buy, it's possible there are cards that show you have to pay money for them, plus an icon. That means you also have to discard a card that shows the same icon on it. In case you paid money with a card that has an icon on it, that's already good enough. Consider it paid for. And if the card shows an icon that shows all three icons together in a small circle, that means you can choose which icon you want to use to pay. And three. 
Another action you can do when it's your turn is place one card here left on your player board or one here on the left side next to your player board. You can only place one on your board if there isn't one there already. And for every card you place here or on the left next to it, you have to pay $10. But the good news is that if the card that you place there already happens to be worth at least $10, the card paid for itself. You don't have to discard an extra card with $10. What you place cards here for, I'll explain in a moment. But when it's your turn, you can either discard cards, place them on the right, buy new cards from here, pay the money by discarding your own cards here, and also put the new cards here, or place cards here on your board or to the left of it. And you can keep going for as long as you like. At some points you won't have any cards left, and then you have to stop. When your turn is over, place all the cards that you placed on the right side here on the discard pile on your own player board. If you still had some cards in your hand, you keep those, and make sure to refill your hand back up to 6 from your own deck here on your player board. Again, quickly. When it's your turn, you can discard cards, buy cards, or place them here and here for $10 per card. Next, why do you place cards here on the left side? The space on your board is called the mission plan. The space on the left side of your player board is called the launch pad. In this game, you have to accept missions and then try to reach them. The missions are written on your own cards, and it's up to you which one of them you choose to accept. When you see a mission you like, during your turn you can accept it by paying $10 and placing it here on this space, the mission plan. Then this becomes your goal for the moment. And every card that you place on the left of it will be to help you reach that goal. Here's how that goes. For example, I want to do this mission, launch a satellite into space. So, when it's my turn, I place this card on this space. That costs $10. But this card is also worth $10, so it pays for itself. Now it's here, so I'm going to focus on getting this mission done. That probably won't happen this turn, but that's okay. You can choose when you want to try to launch your mission. Let's start with the first thing you'll need. When you look at the card, the mission, you can see Earth and the moon. It's up to you where you send this satellite. If you want to, to go around Earth, you'll need two rocket power for that. That's what this means on the card. And as you can see, if you want to send this satellite to the moon, you'll need three rocket power. I'll need to place these here to the left of, on the launch pad. I also have this card in my hand. It's not worth any money, but it does show this rocket icon in the top left corner. That means it's one rocket. I need rockets, so I place that here to the left, the first card on my launch pad. But for every card that I place here, I have to pay $10. So I place another card that is worth $10 here on the right side. Let's have a look at the board. You can see this track here. It goes to Earth, then the Moon, and finally to Mars. There's also this little rocket token on Space Zero. 
So, I have my satellite that I want to launch. And I've decided I want to send it around Earth. That means that as soon as I try to fulfill my mission, this little rocket token needs to get from zero to here. I need to put rockets here to launch the mission. But after that, the rockets won't do anything else for me. So, how does this rocket get from zero to Earth? Let me show you the card again. So, I'm going to send this satellite around Earth. I need two rockets to start this mission. But next to the rocket icon, it shows this number three in black. That means this. First, I'll tell everyone at the table that I'm going to launch my mission. And I'll place my own token on Earth to let everyone know I plan to send it there. Then I show everyone that I've got enough rockets to do this mission. I know I don't have those right now, but this is just for the example. So, the rocket is on zero and it needs to get to Earth. My card with the satellite had this number three in black. That means I take this deck of cards from here. First you shuffle it and then you put it back. I'm allowed to take three cards from this deck. That is what the number three means. If I was going to the moon, I would have been allowed to take four cards. So, let's flip over the first one. It says three. That means I move the rocket token three spaces forward toward Earth. I get to take two more cards. I flip over the second one. It shows a two. So I'm getting closer to Earth. I've got one more card. I flip it over. Zero. My rocket doesn't move. My mission was a failure. So, is there anything you can do to make the chance of success any better? Yes! I was trying to get to Earth. Let's have a look at Earth. It shows this icon of a microchip. Some of my cards also have a microchip in the top left corner. When it's my turn, I can place any card I want here on the left. So also these cards with a microchip. And yes, you have to pay $10 for that. But when I launch my mission to Earth, I can move the rocket token forward as many spaces as I have cards with a microchip here on my launch pad. For example, if I had two cards with a chip, I can place the rocket on space 2. And then I do the thing where I shuffle this deck and flip over the cards one by one. That will help me get a better chance to actually reach Earth. When the rocket reaches Earth, I place my token here to get points for it. My satellite shows this icon, so I place my own token here on the same icon. And I get this many points. I move my score token forward on the scoring track. My satellite also shows this one rocket here at the bottom. That means I get to place this square token of one rocket on my player mat. I now have one permanent rocket power for every future mission. The satellite itself goes here under my player board. It's out of the game. But we're not there yet. I have to explain two more things. As I've said, you can do three things when it's your turn. That's true, but when you've done all you want, then at the end is when you say you want to launch a mission. It's also written on your sheet. And if you flip it over, you'll see all the steps on how launching a mission goes. I do want to explain the last thing because that's important. Remember that you flip over these cards with the rockets on them. 
Well, every time you flip over one of the cards, you have a chance to abort the mission. Except after you flipped over the last card, of course. But before that, with every card you reveal, you can say you want to stop. Because if you have revealed all the cards and you didn't make it, you have to discard all your cards from the launch pad. You lose everything that you paid for. But if you abort the mission, you only have to discard as many cards as you have flipped over these rocket cards, minus one. So if you have flipped over two cards, and then you abort, you have to discard one card from your launch pad. No worries, it's written on your sheet here. But again, launching a mission, one, have enough rocket power to do it. Two, for every icon that matches your destination, you get to move the rocket forward one space. Three, shuffle this rocket deck and start revealing cards one at a time. Two more things and then we're done. You have these orange cards, the threat cards. They don't do anything, but they give you extra points at the end of the game. Plus, when you have one of these cards in your hand, they're useless. All you can do is discard them during your turn. And this price on the threat card, you can look that up in the rulebook. It's an easy rule. And the last thing. These cards. These are your goal cards. They will speak for themselves. But if you choose your missions based on what these cards are asking for, you could get more bonus points at the end of the game. Same goes for being the first person on the moon or the first person on Mars. You get to take these tokens and get bonus points. We're done! It's not a very difficult game, but it does have plenty of small details to remember. Don't worry, when you play the game, it will start to make perfect sense at some point. Just look at your helpful sheet, your player mat, and the cards. I hope you feel you do understand the game well enough, and that you'll enjoy it. Thank you for watching this tutorial, feel free to leave a comment, and see you for the next one.